everyone loves a good romantic drama, and Virgin River checks all of the boxes. Over the last two seasons, viewers have witnessed major moments, highs, and lows. The series has also given us one heck of a love triangle between Jack, Mel, and Charmaine. In today's video, we will talk about why Jack and Mel make a great couple and also why Charmaine was also a great pick for Jack. First, let's begin by highlighting that Mel and Jack are in for an enjoyable season 4. Virgin River season 4 is slated to be released sometime this year. The Netflix drama is based on Robin Carr's book series. The TV show follows the romance between Mel Monroe, Alexandra Brackenridge, and a nurse who moves to the small town to heal, and Jack Sheridan, Martin Henderson, who owns the town's bar. At the end of season 3, the couple's relationship come to a major crossroads. However, However, Breckenridge says things will be enjoyable for the pair in season 4. Mel interrupted Jack's marriage proposal with her pregnancy announcement. We also know that Brady, Ben Hollingsworth, has been arrested for shooting Jack. Along with preachers, Colin Lawrence, drugging, and Charmaine's, Lauren Hammersley, pregnancy. All of this will certainly cause some major tension with the couple. Still, Brackenridge says overall the pair are in for an enjoyable season 4. Mel told Jack that she was pregnant when he was about to propose at the end of season 3. So obviously, we're going to watch Mel and Jack navigate the baby that we don't know who is the father. So that should be enjoyable. And they never actually get engaged at the end of season 3. So we'll see if they end up getting engaged in season 4 or not. Let's now talk about why we believe Mel and Jack make a great couple. First, they heal each other. The most wonderful thing about this relationship is that Mel and Jack work on supporting and healing each other. They both have realistic expectations and know that as adults, they've been through the fair share of trauma and suffering. Jack consistently helps Mel in moving on from Mark's untimely death and her desire to be a mother in a way that is fair to him too. Melinda too is always around to pick up the pieces when Jack crumbles. Getting shot and having your house burnt down, especially with PTSD, is no small tragedy. And Jack was able to cope well with both because Mel is at his side, making him feel better. Next, they're young and successful. It's easy to forget in the town series of events that Mel and Jack are still in their prime years. Especially good looking, unpopular opinion about Virgin River has it that Mel was too perfect and pretty successful in their fields. Jack was a leader in the Marines, after which he built a new life and a new business in Virgin River, which does well enough for him to be generous with his money on occasion. Mel is also a talented nurse practitioner who has a thriving career in Los Angeles, and she negotiated a decent package for herself in the little town too. Fans love to see two hard-working people who manage flourishing careers as well as a great relationship. Moving on, they don't hold grudges. Resentment and anger are two things that have never figured in this partnership, which is what makes it so great. A high level of compassion and maturity in both Mel and Jack make sure that they always forgive each other genuinely shortly after the other has transgressed. Mel is quick to forgive and forget each time Jack hides something from her, whether it is his short-lived marriage to Mandy or Charmaine's pregnancy. Jack, too, understands why Mel ran away to LA in season 1, and their relationship does well as it does because they can move on past the trivial things and focus on each other. They have each other's back. Jack and Mel's partnership is a solid one, and they always put up a united front while doing the actual work behind the scenes. Mel went and spoke to Brady about Calvin's drug business, which has been bothering Jack for a while, and even sat and heard Jack complain about Charmaine, Todd, and the custody of his babies, all while helping Brie out through a tough time. Jack has always been in Mel's corner since she stepped into a dilapidated McRae cabin, renovating it for her completely. He helped her through countless medical emergencies and tried to protect her from her vicious sister-in-law too. They showed up for each other even when no one was watching. Next, Mel and Jack have un undeniable chemistry. Before Mel rolled into Virgin River, Jack and Charmaine had been carrying on for some time, but Jack made it clear that he didn't want to get serious or take things to the next level with her. If these two were meant to be together, Jack would have already committed Charmaine. When Mel moves into town, the sparks between Mel and Jack fly fast and furiously. 
Ray. There's no denying that these two have legit chemistry between them, which perhaps lacked between Jack and Charmaine. Plus, Mel gives Jack his space. Charmaine really wants Jack to be a family with her and the twins, but Jack clearly doesn't want the same thing. He has always felt a bit suffocated by Char, and he has made it a point to keep her at arm's length for the duration of their courtship. While Charmaine can be quite suffocating, Mel has always given Jack the space that he needs. Mel understands, because of her history, the desire to step back and breathe. Finally, they know how to have fun. This couple is well-liked because of their effortless chemistry and magnetism. Apart from being good to each other, they know how to have a good time, which was evident from their first interaction with each other at the bar. Be it an egg race, lumberjack games, which included treetop sprints, or their early morning hikes to beautiful riverfronts, both Jack and Mel never let things get boring. The spark between them stayed alive because they were willing to try new things just for the sake of laughter and enjoyment. And their witty repartee with one another was fun to watch for fans too. Now that we know why Mel and Jack make a great couple, let's talk about why we believe Jack could fit well with Charmaine. First, Charmaine has a similar career path. Both Mel and Charmaine have careers going on. Charmaine is a self-employed hairdresser and Mel works with Doc as a nurse practitioner. Both occupations are commendable, but perhaps Charmaine and Jack's employment choices are more similar. Jack Jack owns a bar, and he and Charmaine have both put in an elbow grease to put in their own space in the world. They worked hard and are their own bosses, so to speak. Next, Charmaine is sure about Jack. Jack has made it clear that he isn't bent on having a romantic relationship with Charmaine, but Charmaine is certain about him. Jack told Charmaine Mel was his choice, and still Charmaine loved him. At the end of the first season, Mel freaks and leaves Virgin River for a few weeks to clear her head. No one, not even Jack, hears from her. Mel is obviously having second thoughts about her life with Jack, which Charmaine never seemed to have. She is also family oriented, never mind that she is literally trying to build a family by having two of Jack's babies. But Charmaine knows the importance of family, generally speaking. While she is catching a lot of slack for considering up and moving away from Jack, she only considers this because she wants to be close to the family and knows that she will need their support. Mel, on the other hand, is a bit of a lone ranger. We have seen some families pop into Virgin River, but Mel always looks looks like she can't wait for them to go home. Charmaine's family values might be good for Bachelor Jack. Finally, Charmaine has his babies. Family comes in all shapes and sizes, and gone are the days of only traditional families existing. Some families consist of one parent, others have two married parents, while others contain mom and dad to co-parent. Jack and Char seem to be going on a non-traditional route, raising the kids together while not being romantically involved. A case can be made for these two rekindling their romance, though, so the twins can grow up in one home with both parents. Charmaine has also less emotional baggage. Charmaine is no perfect human being, not by a mile, but she might have less emotional baggage to work through compared to Mel. Sure, Charmaine is needy and unrealistic in her expectations of Jack, but she also doesn't run off or shut down like Mel tends to do. Mel is working through a lot of loss. Her baby and her husband both passed before she left for Virgin River. Sorting out major life woes like those can take a toll on a new relationship. That is all we have time for today, guys. Thanks for sticking it with us till the end. Make sure to comment on who you think is the perfect match for Jack. Till next time, cheers.